things. Okay, so we're going to work through these together talking about ratios and rates and starting to think about proportions. I'd like you to look at question number one on page 59. Mallory works at a local coffee shop. Last week she worked 22 hours and 30 minutes and earned $258.75. What does Mallory earn per hour? What depends on what here? The dollars depend on the hours. So when we're doing y over x to get to her k, which is her constant, how much she makes per hour, we're going to put the dollars over the hours is how we're going to set this up. That's going to give us 22.5. Where did I get the 0.5? In the decimal. Nathan? 30 minutes is half of an hour. 30 minutes is half of an hour. Oops, I just did that wrong. I wanted to put that on the bottom. I just wrote it first because it was first in the problem. So my 22.5 is going to go on the bottom because that goes with the hours. And how much is going to go on the top? 258.75. Go ahead and divide that. And what do we get? Mm -hmm. This equals 11.5, but that's not put in dollars yet. We have to rewrite this as $11.50. So I already kind of did this in number one. What's an equation we could use to show how much she works and the amount that she earns. There's, this is one possibility. Is there another possibility? Y equals? What is her K? This is her, this is her constant. That's her amount per hour that she makes. That's her constant, right? Mm -hmm. So we could rewrite this as y is equal to 11.5 times x. Can we figure out how much she would make if she worked 20 hours and 45 minutes? Mm -hmm. The first thing we have to do is convert that 45 minutes to a decimal, and it's not 0.45. Think about how much of an hour is 45 minutes. Say it again, Preston. Three fourths. Three fourths. What is three fourths as a decimal? So we're going to rewrite this as y is equal to 11.5 times 20.75. Can we multiply those and find out how much you would make? And what number did you guys get? 38.65. I did mine completely wrong. I did not get that number. There we go. I got 238.625. They're not going to pay her 0.625. They're going to pay her in dollars, right? And cents. What would we round that to? 63. And make sure you're putting your answer with a label. a label, the dollar sign. Okay, for number three, I am going to have you guys go to um, Agile Mind, walk through the three pages that I left you. And then I'd like you, before you do the online problems, because there's, I think, four, I want you to come back and do this problem on the next page, number four. 
and then five A, B, and C. And be really neat and clear about this because tomorrow we're gonna do an activity with these problems and these graphs based on your work today with a group, okay? Okay. So the book work first and then go back and do the four online problems if we have time, okay? Questions, what questions do we have? Can we work with partners? Yes. Can we use calculators? Obviously. The partners need to be at your table. Should, I can't remember what I was gonna say. It's gone, gone from my head. What should be done first? What should be done second? Okay, go ahead and finish problems three and four using the computer, but then go away from the computer to the book work, problem five, and then you're gonna go back, okay?